Okay. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and sick freaks. It's Mac and Cheese here. Now, earlier this morning, out of the blue, the official Nintendo Switch Pro trailer dropped, and I watched it and react to it, and everybody's like, I was like, wow, this is actually really cool. Like, look at it. It looks so slick. I love it. I'm going to buy it. But I rewatched the trailer again, and I had a lot of second thoughts about that. And we're going to go over those. Firstly, I remember you could not go on, about a month ago, you could not go onto the internet at all without rumors about a Switch Pro. Heck, I think there were even rumors about Switch Pro as early as, I want to say, Late 2018 into early 2019. You know, the Switch was still a baby. You know, we only had a few games, you know. Right? But, I just, I need to reiterate some things. And say, and now thinking about it, some of the things I said about it were not true. And I shouldn't have freaking said. There are little to no improvements at all um the most the greatest improvement that i think people are actually unironically happy about is the kickstand the kickstand this is exactly what we wanted right but that's about it yeah cool a wider screen it's like we're like oh nintendo you finally delivered with your switch pro Wow, what is what what's new? What's new with this model? They're like, okay, it has a wider screen, uh, okay, and a wider kickstand, and then we're like, is is that oh also 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 it's white now, like, okay, I mentioned in that video that like. The Switch already looks slick enough as it is. Because I remember back in 2017, seeing the first look at the Switch, I was like, wow, look how nice this looks. Like, I love it. I want it. I want to have this. That's that's how I kind of... I had the same feeling, but it's in hindsight now because... This is just a new model of Switch. I don't know why they call it the OLED model, and I have no idea what that stands for I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right but people have dubbed it as a switch pro I also mentioned in that video how it's like how even after the official name of the Nintendo switch mini was revealed to be switch Lite for a short period of time people were still calling it the switch mini you know and this reiteration yeah it's cool Not much to write home about, though. Um, One of the big ones, one of the big Switch Pro leaks I remember is 4K, 4K, 4K gaming, 4K resolution screen. And it's everywhere. That's like the first thing I think of when I hear Switch Pro is 4K. But we didn't get that. The screen has been affected. It got a wider screen. Also, um... Uh better sound quality for handheld mode a lot of these updates focus more on handheld mode than they do um you know dock mode not much is said about when the when it's in dock and and it looks more or less the same just with a nicer looking dock and i know people were wanting a new controller as well but we didn't get that maybe later down the line there will be like a switch a nintendo switch pro controller pro you know or plus whatever they plan on calling it I never really I never really was one of those people I'm pretty satisfied with the switch pro controller in its current state it's my favorite controller I use it to play almost every game on my switch and that reminds me back to the dock thing a lot of people like myself don't go that many places so the majority of the time 95% of the time when I'm playing my Switch, it's on the TV, in dock mode, not in handheld. Maybe if I, for some reason, 
want to leave that specific room where I have my switch put in, which is the living room, and go to a different room of the house. Maybe I'll have it in handheld mode, but I don't know why I would. Or, of course, the case where I leave the house and rarely do I ever bring my Switch with me. It really depends on where I'm going. But, I mean, that's 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 really it. Uh, I doubt that they affix Joy-Con drift. I doubt it. There's no way they... They didn't say anything about the Joy-Con, so I'm just assuming they're the same Joy-Cons, but white. You know? Uh, there's really not... I just can't think of, I don't know why, I think I was just in my mind, I was like, oh my god, the Switch Pro, it's finally come out, so I was looking at this with hopeful eyes, and I was blind to all the crappiness of how this actually turned out, but then again, the Switch Pro leaks were super, like, out of proportion they were there were so many stretches it was to the point where it didn't sound like an updated switch and more or less a brand new console like people are expecting a brand new console and this is a lot more realistic in a you know marketable sense but either way it's a little bit disappointing to the people who took into account some of those leaks and I was one of those people, but not a lot of them. Very few. I really took into account the ones that made the most sense. Like the 4K thing. And that's pretty much it. I can't think of another one. Just, that's the that's that's the one I was okay with. I'm like, okay, Switch Pro, 4K, just minding my own business at 8 a.m. And then, boom, new Switch. Will I want this? No. Not at all. <laughs> I said I did in the video, but a few hours later, I did some I did some big girl thinking and I'm like, "No. No, that'll that's that's a waste of money. I'm just okay with my current Switch. It's really just they took a regular Switch, stretched out the screen and stretched out the kickstand, made it white and then called it a day." Or the OLED model. So no, no. I take back what I said in that video. I don't want it. It's cool to look at. I think the only thing that I'm really attracted to was the white and grayish color scheme of the dock and the Joy-Cons. And if they sold the white Joy-Cons on their own, you know I would get me some white Joy-Cons. Because I only have the red and blue ones that came with my Switch. And I really want the pink and green Splatoon 2 ones. And now I want the white ones. But... That's that's about it. I don't know even know what else to say anymore, but I just I just I guess I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next